You all know me uh, well enough to know that I love to hunt. I love to hunt. As a matter of fact, I, I work so that I can make money so that I can hunt. I sleep so that I can wake up so that I can hunt. Um, I, uh, what, everything I do in my life seems to revolve around hunting. I love it. And, uh, and thankfully, my wife loves it too. And we spend a lot of our time and energy into this. And uh, it's one of those things that uh, over the years has really taken precedence uh, in my life. Um, I, I've allowed it to, uh, to be the center point of my life. Um, I have uh, missed many a Wednesday nights. I've missed many a Sunday mornings because of this right here. Now, now I know that not all of you are, uh, are, are hunters, and not all of you treasure the, the bone like I treasure it. Um, but all of you have something in your life that, uh, is, that takes precedence, uh, as, as hunting does for me, whether it be fishing or uh, 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 you know, playing, uh, or staying home on a Sunday and sleeping. You know, um, uh, we, we all have some kind of an excuse uh, to, to stay at home on a Sunday morning or Wednesday evening. And um, uh, I think that uh, we overlook the importance uh, in our life, the real importance of, of these days and, and what God does in our life and how, uh, how we're supposed to hold him as number one. Uh, you know, a lot of us, I, I spent many, many mornings on Sunday going, you know what, I'm out here and enjoying Mother Nature and I'm enjoying God's creation. And I was, and I do every time I go out uh, to sit in a tree and watch the birds and the armadillos and, you know, the squirrels. Okay, maybe not in southwest Oklahoma, but I used to watch a lot of squirrels, or a lot of squirrels used to watch me. Um, you know, I used to think, you know what, it's okay to miss those things because I'm out here enjoying God. I'm, I'm, I'm communicating with the Lord in my tree. And it took me a little while to figure out that that's not where I should be. You say, well, you know what? If you're out there enjoying the Lord, what's wrong with being out there? Well, let's, uh, if, if you've got your Bibles, let's open up to Luke. No, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong. Let's open up to uh, Hebrews. I've got so many bookmarks in here, I forget where I'm at. Let's look at Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read some verses before that. It says, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he uh, consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. I don't know if that scripture, what that scripture just did to you as I read it, but to me it just gets to my heart. We come up with excuses to miss church, to do the things in our life that we love because we think it's okay and that God would allow it because we're spending time with Him. But God also tells us to spend time with one another. We look at verses 24 and 25, and I'm going to read them again to you. It says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Is verse 23, verse 24, And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, as I was, but exhorting one another and so much the more as we see the day approaching. We need to be together. We need to assemble together with one another. We need to lift each other up for God. We cannot do that if we're sitting in the woods, if we're sitting at a, at a, uh, at a campsite uh, on a Sunday morning, if we are on the lake in a boat on a Sunday morning if we are in our bed sleeping because we've had a rough week. We cannot lift each other up from the house. We cannot lift each other up if we do not assemble together as a congregation as we are doing here this morning. So as you go through this next week, I want you to think uh, of the things in your life that take precedence over God and over one another. 
I've got many things in my life outside of hunting that, that help me or that cause me to forget all of you. We all have things in our lives because Satan is out there and the world is out there to make us and change our minds and to make us look in different directions outside of this assembly. But we need to focus and know that this assembly right here, we are a family. God has brought us together to lift one another up, just as Scripture here has said, and we need not to be off doing other things when it's time to assemble. And Sunday mornings and Wednesday mornings are time to assemble, time to learn from one another, to learn from God's Word, to lift one another up in love. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we just thank you for this church. We thank you for these walls and this place that we can come to, Lord, to gather together as an assembly for you. Father, we just pray that... Uh, that you would work with us in our hearts, Lord, to help direct us from the things that we think that we love more than anything, Lord, to, to loving you more than anything. Father, help us to encourage one another, to teach one another, to lift one another up in prayer. Father, we just love you. Just pray that you would be with us today through the rest of this service as we take communion, Father, as we come before you. Just forgive us, Lord, of our sins. Forgive us, Lord, of all of the things that we've done wrong that, uh, that we don't even know that we've done. Father, we know that we need forgiveness for all of them, Father, and we just ask that you would just take that from us and know, Lord, that you will. Father, we love you and we thank you, and it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning. Scott was talking about us um, not forsaking the assembly of each, you know, of us. And, uh, you know, if you look at the Old Testament, the Old Testament is full of special feasts and um, things uh, dedicated for the groups, for the people to come together to assemble in the name of the Lord and to give him thanks for what he's done. Matter of fact, just... Um, just a week or two ago, 